All right, guys, got another quick walkthrough for you. Today we're looking at a 2004 Four Winds Chateau Citation 24BB. Now, this is a pretty cool unit. It's about 25 feet and some change overall. Double slide, opposing slides up front, rear kitchen, rear bath. No perm bed. Your bed's actually going to be the couch or the dinette, but we'll run through the exterior here and take a good peek at her. So first thing on the E450 chassis, it's got that V10 Triton motor. Should be the 305 horse. Here's a quick look at the tires. Upside down, but they're 255, 75R, and then 16 inch tires. It's not too bad. Your decals actually aren't really too bad on this. There are a couple that did peel off, like the front. It's hard to see, but that did say Chateau at one point. That one is no longer there. I replaced a couple decals, some of the darker ones that were pretty bad. You can see. Hopefully you can see that. Starting to crack a little bit, getting a little peely up top. But the gold one and the black one, I think we did end up replacing. Now you do have an awning right there. It is a manual awning. You can pull that out and there is slide toppers for both of these slides. Now your compartments. There's your first one. Nothing too crazy. There's not any massive storage compartments on this, but you do definitely have some. All right, so you got some Toyos in the back. Actually look pretty good. Pretty decent amount of tread too. And you see, like I said, not full body paint. So even the gold is a sticker here, but gold actually looks really good. Got your gen set, micro cry, owning, Cummins owning 4,000. So plenty to run everything inside. Six gallon water heater. Does have a backup camera. And of course your hitch. And what does that say? It's hard to see, but 5,000 pound towing capacity. And you see that other decal for the Chateau. It's hard to see, but there was the word Chateau right there. Now, sewer hose, fuel, dump station for your gray and your black. power cord you got a ethernet and coaxial connection there water connection behind there propane tank 12.2 gallons and this is just a small little storage right there and then finally your battery compartment I do got to replace a little little kind of corner slide piece right there got to get a replacement for Have a good cleaning too. Well, that's the exterior really quick. Let's jump inside. An electric step on the outside. And a couple steps in. Battery disconnect to the left. And then I can give you a good quick look really at the galley and the floor plan. So we're gonna start up front first. 60 just under 62,000 miles and the only thing different is you do have a like a battery boost emergency start button there to pull battery power from the house everything else is pretty similar cloth seats not too bad either. they're starting to you know fray a little bit of course 16 years old though not bad at all now it's technically a B plus because you don't have a bunk here you have just a entertainment center TV was upgraded, so it's going to be kind of hard to see, but you have a pretty decent gap back there. There was a tube TV at one point. Now, of course, it has been upgraded to a flat screen, so you could, I mean, modify and put storage back there. Left of the TV here. And then to the right, very similar compartment, except I got a little GPS thing in there. You got your switch box and your DVD player and then some of your manos up here. And it looks like that's, that might be for the exterior. I have to double check and see if there's buttons on the outside, but your slides. So the dinette right here, the booth is part of a slide with all that storage up there. And then right behind me, all that storage 
and then this couch is going to be also a slide so when they come in it's kind of hard to tell but you still have a complete walkway through the middle so you can you know access the bathroom get to everything you need to without putting any of your slides out now the unique thing about this there is no permanent bed so your main sleeping area is right there I mean, of course you can use the dinette too, the table drops down, but it's a much, it's not nearly as long. So if you're you know, a little bit taller, not, you know, a child, that's going to be mainly it. Now in terms of storage over here, a couple little side table, and then they, the previous owners installed this medicine cabinet looking thing. And then one more of these little side table storages. And then above you got these three storages that are a pass-through so they go all the way down and connect to all three of those and vice versa on the other side with the storage you open that all the way down now once again there is actually a little bit of storage under the dinette no drawers or anything but you can't store stuff all the way down and I'm sure you can access that from the top of the dinette too Again, very similar. You see a couple seat belts in there, power connection for there, and that's honestly that's that's your galley. So nothing too crazy. Now your kitchen, closet, bathroom, all that's back here. Let's take a peek. So you got some drawers. Let's start from the bottom here. Not a drawer, just joking. Water tank. But you got these four, which are all about the same depth. So nothing too crazy deep. But this is actually going to be your main closet let me step back without falling it's your main closet right there there's your awning rod some of your weights if you want to pause it and check out some of these ac is fully ducted it does have a furnace right across from that closet you got a norcold two-door fridge we'll run off of propane or electric And then above, of course, your freezer. Not a nice maker, but still got a freezer. And then above that, almost too tall for me, but a little bit of storage. And then to the right of it, you got your main pantry. Actually a good amount of storage for the size of the unit. Now, what do we got in here? We got a convection microwave. Smaller, it's not a residential size. It is one of the smaller ones, but you still got it three burner gas stove top with a hood no oven hence the convection so you got the storage under and then your two bay sink right there you got a false panel right there for water lines generator 309 that we'll call it 310 just about to turn and bottom one's not really storage just an access point some of those heater lines And then above, I got a little bit more storage. There you go. So actually, like I said, I mean, quite a bit of storage in this unit, which is very nice. Right above us in the kitchen, we do have a fantastic fan. Beautiful. And then to the right of the kitchen, you can see our entry door for the bathroom. Raised toilet. I think it is plastic. Yeah, plastic toilet there. See to the right, got a little toilet paper area under the sink here. Some more storage, a couple water lines, plumbing running through the middle. Decent amount of counter space, actually. Small sink, smaller sink. And then, make it so you don't have to see my face. Now, you do have another fan in here. Not a fantastic fan, it's just one of those manual ones for the hood and then for the actual fan. Towel rack. And then finally your bathroom. The bathroom looks like, you know, it's not a corner bathroom, so it is a little bit different size, but it is a one piece fiberglass shower. Now, don't mind the sweat. It is already starting to get hot here in Arizona, but 5'9". If you are getting into that kind of 6'2", six 6'3", six range, you're gonna have to duck. I mean, you got a little bit of a uh, enclosure up there to give you a little bit more height, but thank God I'm short. So there you go, that was, I mean, I know it was pretty quick, only 10 minutes, but that was a good look at this coach. If you have any questions, go ahead, comment down below. Thank you so much for viewing, and go ahead, go ahead and wash your hands and try to stay safe out there. Have a great day, guys.